of all the cities in the world, Los Angeles might be the only place whose main industry is creative. So the way of life is very different. People are very curious about new ideas. Because of that, I felt like the soil is fertile for something of a startup. And so that's when I moved here. We started here around 16 years ago, and around 10 years ago, we started an office in New York. So together we have close to 50 people between the two offices. We do most cultural projects, museums, galleries, or even residences. I think at the end of the day, you know, what we focus on engaging with is human life in, in all aspects. It sounds mundane, but I like to be able to make architecture that make people like each other. I felt that when I go to cities, like what it is to be with other people that celebrate this place and this life together. The first house I lived in was in Thailand. When you live in a tropical place, uh, the sensory is intense. The smell, the sound, uh, the touch. And so I felt that so important. I'm not an architect that dreamt about doing my own home at all. I was dreading it, I didn't want to do it. It was, you know, like a photographer taking a photograph of yourself. I was like the idea of a Thai house. The main floor is actually on the second floor, which allow you to actually have better views and connect better to the sun. I love concrete as a material. You know, it's so humble. I felt like we should let the structure show how it's made. I think I'm extremely curious, so because of that, I like to surround myself with objects. I want to ponder their reason to exist, their form, their shape. Los Angeles is very forgiving. It's a place that allows you to experiment, to explore. It's a place that leaves you alone, like, oh, you want to meditate, go meditate. We have a whole heritage, a history of architecture in this city. I hope to see my house as another chapter of that history.